Hi, Dave. <laughs> you just got you just got a shout out, bro. Nice. Hey, we will be taking a test with a formula sheet out and calculator out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. On the test, on the test, will be the arith. No, the, on the formula sheet. On the formula sheet will be your arithmetic formula. Um, and your geometric will be on there. Also, your summation formulas will be on there. All right, so all those formulas will be on your sheet, so you're not going to memorize anything. All right, the following. It's going to say, is arithmetic, question mark, geometric, question mark, neither. For a quick practice, would you please do the following thing? One, Um, what do you do? 2, 6, 10, 15, 18. Would you please do 8, 12, 18, 27? Would you please do these three things on your calculator to determine if they are arithmetic, if they are geometric, or they are neither? Sorry for the bad writing. I see people in back squinting. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 8, 12, 18, 27. I'm going to stop right now. The top one is the top one arithmetic, geometric. I subtracted, I subtracted, I subtracted, did I get different numbers every time? I divided, I divided, I divided, did I get different numbers every time? Neither. All right, second and third one. I'm just pretending because I'm on TV. Did you like the singers? Yeah. Who else was at Coffee House? Did you like the singers? I can't believe the talent, like, some of our kids should be on TV. They're that good. The second one, I tried dividing and dividing and dividing. I got different answers. It's not geometric. I tried subtracting, subtracting, subtracting. I did get the same. It's arithmetic or arithmetic. You don't have to say it the cool way. And I tried dividing, dividing, dividing. Oh. It just worked. Dividing, same, same, same. It was geometric. So there's a few like questions to start right out, right out, right out. All right. It will then clearly tell you the following. It'll say to clearly write out the first five terms, to write out the first five terms. And it's possible that it will be a geometric, it's possibly bare arithmetic, it's possible it might be something else. And the recursive way is this. And the recursive way is this. It tells you the first one, and when you're testing, you won't say it out loud, but you'll be thinking the next one <laughs> equals two times the one before it, plus four. That's what you'll be thinking. That's what you'll be thinking. All right. So the first one is seven. It just tells you that. You'll be testing so you won't say it out loud, but you go two times the one before it, 14, plus two is 18. And it will simply be a redundant, which is another way of saying boring, It'll be another boring one is simply the next is two times the one before it, 36 plus 440. 
The next one is 2 times the one before it, 80 plus 4, 84. And 2 times the one before it, 168 and 172. So you'll be asked to use a recursive formula to list out the first five. I believe that's been something we had done practice on. Good. <coughs> Okay, it is very possible, in fact, it will happen, that you'll have an explicit formula, and it'll say to write the first five, and it might give us a formula like this, a sub n equals five times two to the n minus one. Might give us an explicit formula. And here's how we do it. We write a sub one, we just start at one, that's just a label, 5 times 2 to the 1 minus 1. That's not a label. We're going to do a little bit of math there. 1 minus 1 is nothing. Anything to the 0 power is 1. This is 5 times 1. A sub 2. 5 times n minus 1 becomes 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 to the first is 2, times 5 is 10. A to the 3, that's just a label. And 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. The mistake that good people make, the mistake that good people make, is to go 5 times 2 is 10, and then take 10 to the second power. That's a mistake. That's wrong. You'd continue out for the fourth and the fifth. You'd continue out for the fourth and the fifth. It will say arithmetic. A rat in the house, my <coughs> the ice cream. You will look on your formula sheet and see this formula. And then it'll say this. It will say to determine the formula. And here we go. What you need is the difference and the first one. That's what you need. <coughs> well, we already have the first one. Woohoo, we got the first one. Let's find the difference. Would you on your calculator, or this one could even be in your head, do some quick subtracting, subtracting, subtracting. What is the difference? The difference is three. We know the difference is three, and we know the first one is 16. Our formula is on our formula sheet. You have to know where to look and find it. And we write a sub n, that's a label, equals a sub 1, the first one. We know what it is. Plus n minus 1 times the difference, 3. Cool. Distributive property, it just happens to be from the back. 3 times n and 3 times negative 1. I like to put the 3n first. 16 minus 3 is 13. There's your formula. If there would be a follow-up question, which would say, what is the 20th one worth? You'd put a 20 here. That's just a label. You'd put a 20 here and do the math and, and get, get your, your number. Census will go well. Census will go well. All right. It will again say it's arithmetic. And we're going to have the following. Fill in the blanks. 
fill in the blanks. So let me get tricky here. All right, it says it's arithmetic, which lets you know that you add the same thing every time. And so I go here. How much do I add from here to here? I don't know, I'm just a kid. So I put plus D for a difference. How much from here? I don't know, I'm just a kid. I don't know, I'm just a kid. I don't know, I'm just a kid. You gotta add one to D, a D, a D, a B. 40, remember we're adding. So it's 28, maybe you said it right, I might have heard wrong. Plus 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D. And you will notice, please, it's an Algebra 1 problem. Boom, it's an Algebra 1 problem. Boom, it's an Algebra 1 problem. Take away 28.75 and divide by 4. It just happens to have some decimals. And it says the D is 13.96. And then, this is awesome to double check, 28.75 plus 13.96. This blank is 42.72 plus 13.96. 56.5. Plus 13.96, 70.64, and it's the moment of truth. Add 13.96 and hope like heck. Uh oh. I actually didn't get it. Oh! Was I off one on all of them? I, oh my. One. Wow. The moment of truth <coughs> was a failure. I'll edit that out. As Dave knows, I don't edit anything out. All right, I think that is the end of our 